Good morning. Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Joining me at Market Site, we have Christine Kern. She's the CEO of Global Iconic Fashion House, Badgley Misco. And we're going to focus on luxury consumer trends for 2018. Thank you so much for joining us today, Christine, and Thank joining you. me at Market Site. Now, uh, consumer spending trends for holiday 2018, the expectations are quite high, and we kind of saw that play out for Black Friday. Are you seeing the same thing for luxury spending as well? Yes, I mean, you know, everybody's talking about consumer confidence is at an all-time high. You know, the reports so far that, you know, Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales are up and expected to be up for the season. I mean, I think it's a really exciting time right now, and we're, we're seeing that. I mean, our BadgerMishka.com retail sales are up 36% year over year, so we're seeing that trend um, on our site as well. All right, now speaking of trends, and, and I spoke with an analyst um, a couple days about this, where you can't discern what's the hot product this year, what brands are hot this year, that it's more um, influenced by, by your social media peers. Uh, are you seeing the same thing on the luxury side as well? Definitely. We, um, we're launching a, our new website in January, and we're spending a lot of time rebranding that because we have so much photography and video content that we want to put at the forefront for this, you know, exactly this type of thing, for this experience. Um, retail is becoming far more experiential. We um, are launching a, a new store next month, opening a new store on Sunset Boulevard in West Hollywood, which is got this old iconic Hollywood history. You know, and I think that's what that's what people want. Customers want, you know, they want to be embraced by a brand. Have, you know, so it's not just one head item. They want to attach themselves to a brand and really be immersed in it. It's really interesting. It's not necessarily word of mouth, but pictures are telling the story. And we're seeing that across all social platforms, which I find so interesting how it transcends into the shopping experience as well. Um, what are some of the hot items that you're seeing on BadgerlyMishka.com? What's really moving for holiday? Well, I mean, Badger Mishka is known for such timeless, glamorous dressing, you know, so we've got, you know, gorgeous cocktail dresses, our shoes, our shoes are on fire, you know, they're such great party shoes for any occasion. We also have, you know, full lifestyle, you know, we've got sportswear, we've got, um, we just launched a brand new fragrance, which is exciting, and we have Home, which is for the first time available on First Dibs which is a great new, exciting partnership. Um, so I think that people want these special items. You know, Badger Mishka is about something special. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like accessories are, are really a big driver yes, for, for, for holiday sure. as well. Um, now, speaking of consumer confidence, uh, w when you look at the luxury segment, do, does that type of customer, do they tend to be more immune from machinations in the economic cycle and what's happening with the markets? You, is there kind of always um, strength there, if you will? I think, um, you know, I think that you have to kind of look at it, you know, more, uh, more globally, you know, mm -hmm. so, so, you know, every day, you know, there's going to be ups and downs right. and, and the customer, you know, may get nervous. But I think when it comes to their special event or their special occasion, mm -hmm. they're always in their mind, you know, saving up for that. They're always going to going to spend more on that because they want the fabulous design. They want the quality. They want to know, you know, Mark Badgley and James Mishka are, you know, putting their design genius into this and that they're going to look fabulous on their special right. day. And then that's translating to, you know, how we're becoming a lifestyle brand is because now I think there's a trend where everybody's tired of the black yoga pants, you know, that they want to step it up a little bit and have some glamour when they, you know, are doing airplane rides or dropping their kids off at school or what, you know, everybody's so busy these days, but, you know, you still have the opportunity to um, put yourself in the best light. Well, you said um, the brand's up 36, 36, excuse me, 36 percent year over year with sales. Are there pockets or regions around the world that you're seeing outperform uh, versus others? Yes. Well, um, you know, we have a, a big customer base um, in the Middle East. Um, we're also growing in China right now. We've got 16 stores and we're growing to 32 by next okay. year. Um, so it's it's a big expansion mode for the brand, I think. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us at Market Site. Thank you. And thank you for joining me. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.